Hey guys, so for this look, I'm just starting off with putting some foundation on my face, just to even out my skin tone. So I'm just kind of blending this all over. Gotta get a nice, even pale. <laughs> so now I'm just putting on some cover-up. Just under my eyes, some problem areas, hide some redness. I'm blending that in. Now I'm going to start with the eyes. So I'm taking my Naked 2 palette and I'm taking the black color and I'm just applying that along my outer corners and dragging that up into my crease. I'm trying to go for a really dramatic look so I'm just kind of focusing it more so on the outer corners. And I'm also going to drag it down on under my lash line. I just want a real smoked out effect. So now I'm taking Chopper and I am it's like a gold color and I'm just patting this over my lid and blending it into the brown or black. And then I'm taking uh, this white color and I'm putting that on my brows. And now I'm working on the really dramatic wings, so I'm just using this felt tip eye eyeliner pencil and I am drawing my lid and extending it out into a long, sharp wing. Make sure you bring that all the way across your eyelid. Doing the other side. Now I decided to use a pencil eyeliner for the other part because I thought it was just a little bit easier so I'm just drawing an inside wing by my tear duct and then I'm lining my lash line and my waterline. Just follow the shape of your uh, tear duct and create a point at the end. I'm really trying to smoke this out. So I'm taking more of that black eyeshadow and I'm just kind of going over my lower lash line just to darken it up. And then I'm applying some mascara. Now I'm just filling in my brows. I made them kind of like thicker than I usually would, a little bit more dramatic looking. And now I'm taking a really dark contour color. And I am bringing that up into my eyebrows and down the sides of my nose. And I'm making it pretty thick and I'm blending it up. Make sure you blend that into your eyebrows just so they kind of look like they connect. Now I'm taking that shadow color and I'm going to apply it to my forehead. I'm just starting in the temple area and working my way towards the center. And I'm keeping that concentrated on the upper portion of my forehead. Now I'm bringing it down my temples and down the sides of my cheeks. This is a bit more dramatic than a normal contour. You just want to get that brown shade to your skin. Now I'm taking this white color and I'm going to be using this to highlight on my cheekbone area. And I'm also going to be applying it to the center of my forehead and slightly above my eyebrows and also down the center of my nose. Now I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil and I'm drawing some spots on my forehead. A couple large ones, a couple, couple smaller ones. You can draw as many or as little as you like. 
I'm also going to draw a couple near my cheekbones. And I'll even bring a couple up onto my temple area, just some small ones. Now I'm drawing on the nose, so I'm just following the natural shape of my nostrils along the bottom. And then I'm following the top curve of my nostril and just bringing it up to the tip of my nose. And I'm using an eyeliner for this. So I'm just going to fill it in. Now I am going to be tracing my cupid's bow and I'm just drawing a line down and then filling that in as well. Now I'm applying some nude colored lipstick and I'm going to go back in with that black pencil and just color in my upper lip. This would look a lot better with some black lipstick, I just didn't happen to have any. And then I am drawing little lines that extend from the top lip just to make my lip look, I don't know, bigger I guess, longer, <laughs> give it some dimension. So that is the finished deer look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to keep watching this 31 days of makeup challenge. And I will see you guys tomorrow for day 7. Bye.